know how you feel. I said, uh, how many pounds? One and a half pounds. That's around at this 10 pounds. Okay, uh, I have bought a cherry tree from Astor. And I planted it in the February 9. I bought it for six pounds. The variety's name is Estella. Sweet tasting and temptingly glossy fruit ideal for eating fresh and for dessert and uh, I planted beside the polytunnel between the uh, another tree and the morello cherry, tree morello cherry according to the book this book the fruit expert by the doctor DG Hesseyon the Stella Cherry is a self uh, first self-fertile sweet cherry, number one choice for garden use. It's vigorous, the flavor is good, and the flesh is juicy. And a good pollinator for the fruit cher other cherries. Food may be dark red or near black, according to this picture. This is the cherry tree, variety Stella, that I bought from Asta last year, I planted here. And uh, I noticed three, four months ago that it had a kind of honey-like or um, yeah, jam marmalade-like goo at the point that you see the white stuff in the middle. And I learned that this is a bacterial canker. So I immediately uh, cut the top. It was in a dark afternoon, so I didn't have the time really to put the uh, camera or anything, just take a video. It was dark right there. The next morning I came and just cut it. Uh, it was the first disease I've ever seen of the tree, so I mean of my own tree. So I just cut it immediately. Top. Uh, this was about yeah six foot high, so I cut it, and now it is about yeah uh, four foot high. And uh, I cut it using the fungicide. I cleaned around it, to get sure that there is no uh, of the gooey material that tree has produced gum around that uh, bacterial canker, bacterial canker. So I used immediately Arborex heal and seal on that and covered it. So getting sure that the, there is no chance. Also whatever dead leaf on it and around it on the floor, uh, they had this kind of holes, they call it bullet shot holes. And uh, you have to remove them. I removed them immediately, burned them somewhere. So getting sure that nothing of that remains here to be transferred to other trees so after that uh, as far as I can see it was done three months ago nothing has came back no disease I don't see anything so even may I may have some fruits as you see in the center those are fruit buds and these are also again at the center fruit buds and uh, I have on the other ones also some fruit buds here at the center again so everything is not lost yet. I have another set of fruit bus here at the center. So nothing is lost much, just in the central leader. And actually it may give, may probably give the tree a better shape. Also at, here at the center you see some fruit bus here. So hopefully I will have some fruits on this this year. But uh, I learned that the Stella is not, a bacteria, is not resistant to bacterial canker. For that I go for other varieties, especially Merton Glory cherry. And uh, which I bought from the keeper's nursery. Very good, a strong tree. I will, I will go and show you another video now after just this, or in the same video. 
Um, you can compare it with this one. Just look. This is beside my polytunnel. I hope that uh, this will help it in a way because the warmth of the and wind protection of the polytunnel may give them a little better chance of survival, if not making it more damp for them. That is a Merton Glory uh, cherry. I had a separate video about this, but uh, just look at the fruit buds, so many fruit buds. And this tree, this uh, Merton Glory cherry, which I bought from Keeper's Nursery, uh, is resistance to most of the diseases, including the bacterial canker, canker uh, fruit splitting, which happened due to the regular rain or watering and uh, such things. So, uh, this is a variety which is uh, I recommend. Last year gave me fruit, this year also hopefully will give us some fruit. Last year 2014, this year 2015. And we will see how it will do compared to other varieties. And these are other varieties that I have just in front of you, you see that. I think this one is called Napoleon Bigaro, uh, or Bijaro, is a French variety, as you see. It was just a stick when it arrived last year, I bought it from the, the Keeper's Nursery again. Keeper's Nursery gives uh, good uh, cherries. And now you see, uh, on the old wood, it has lots of fruit, but old wood is a darker brown one. And then the top one is a this year, last year's growth. And there are some uh, leaf pods on that, which is really good welcoming, and uh, it will give us some uh, leaf to do photosynthesis and provide us with fruit this year and next year's, hopefully. The uh, cherry, sweet cherry, uh, Stella. Uh, it is the one that, uh, I made a video about it, it had a canker here. I immediately, cut the bit that was in central, central leader. I cut it and covered it with the Arbright uh, heel and seal. And it recovered. And now it's large, it's full of fruit pots. It give us a lot of fruits, hopefully, this spring. There is a little bit disease in this one. But I have to do it in the spring. I will not do anything probably now. Beyond that, it looks healthy. Cherry tree, the variety is uh, Stella, Stella cherry. I bought it from the Asta. And in the first year, it didn't give me anything. Not only it didn't give me anything, it developed canker. So I had to cut the central part of this tree and I made a video about it when I did that and I covered it with a heel and seal, Arbrex heel and seal from Bayern. I bought it for three pounds, usually seven pounds it is, from B&Q when it was an offer. And I'm really happy about the result because it had antifungal agent and also covered and sealed during the wet time. I cut it in the, very, in the time that we usually should not cut, we should not cut really. It was late November, I think I did that. I have a video about it, you can look in my playlist and find that. Uh, but now look at it. The tree is really looking healthy, the leaves are large, huge, lots of new shoots it has given. And I think that probably gives us uh, next year some good fruit, good amount of fruit. I'm looking forward to that. The tree... It's not very tall. Probably it helped me actually that I cut that central bit there because it gave more lateral. But it's on a way of accessing my polytunnel. So I will stop this from growing anywhere this way, this way toward the north, northwest, and north, northwest. And try to encourage it to go laterally toward the camera and away from the camera and to the right of the camera. So fill up that space, that's all right, because that is a strawberry bed and the uh, apples, Jupiter, and the kids, orange, red. Kids, kids, orange, red. And uh, looking healthy. I'm really impressed. And uh, yeah, we will see how it will do. I hope it will not get cancer, canker anymore. <laughs> canker almost sounds like cancer, but anyway, that's like cancer for the trees. Looking forward for a good year. Beautiful sunset.
Zun, how you feel? Yeah, there was nothing on the leaf and the trees. It looks so miserable. Yeah, the grass is coming up. It looks very beautiful. It's the loveliest time in the year, probably. It's and especially also after that comes the food season and we can enjoy the labors of our the results the fruit of our labors mm. your uh, lawn has grown well the way that you wanted patchy very rustic Let me just come forward and see a little bit further. This is beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, it's the grass has grown really well. Yeah, we were so worried that we not grow. Look at them now. The apples. Beautiful apple blossoms. Yeah, Looks like a dream, Susan. Everything is so beautiful. This is the way the cherries look, the fruitlets of cherry look in the spring. For the purpose of scale and comparison, this is my finger. They're about five millimeter or six millimeter. And today is the seventh uh, of the May. This is the Stella cherry in the first day of summer, early summer, and uh, this is the way it looks. I can say it's almost ready as if to harvest. Beautiful, that's the size of my finger you saw and that's the size of the fruit. Okay Suzanne, I'm telling you don't eat my apples or my cherries. Really? Yes. Don't yes. eat your apples or your cherries? Yes. That's okay. That's not what we say. Said, don't pop my cherries. What do you mean by don't pop my cherry? Is it an English term? No, it's American. What that mean? It means... Uh, mm, when the... Um, I think the viewers should go and look it up. Okay, don't pop my cherries. Yes. You have to look for it. And they say I'll let Okay, doc. This is a cherry punch. Oh, what you are doing, Eve? <laughs> God has told you don't eat that one. Uh, now you I'm listen having, to the snake. Now I'm having lunch. <laughs> oh, Eve, are you naked now? You have some fig. 
feet covering your face. <laughs> Is it cherry covering your face? Okay. <laughs> You're having a Pepsi Cola in the heaven. <laughs> Garden of Eden. <laughs> this is the way to eat fruit, and to eat fruit, the way is if you pick up the tray. Mm. Hope you have left something for Adam. And it's organic. It's like oh, more here for Adam. Ah. Oh. They are up. Some Adam. Oh, make. here. Look. Well, this is a lot for it. Adam. Oh, yeah. I think God wanted it for himself, huh? What do you think? <laughs> Don't touch my apples. <laughs> it was a garden. Eh? <laughs> what you're doing? This is a stellar cherry. You're yeah, picking them. It is. You're killing them. <laughs> There's the babies of the tree. We've had um, quite a few. Oh. Seven. One. Okay, there are more here. I see them everywhere. Your eyes. Yeah, you have and a trained eye, and this is, and this is just one garden. tree that we have. Yeah, and look, We've already more here. They are really big, oh. it's oh. quite dry. I think the, the dry weather <laughs> is necessary for having the cherries ripened. No, I think so. There's more. You have to get right into the tree, but I see them out there. Oh, look, the peak. No, they're hiding under the plants. Try not to destroy the fruit system. That's the important part. Yeah. They're just under all your elbow here. Oh, yeah, pick them. <laughs> Oh, you had eaten already one of them and just you chucked on it because you know why. Dare we take juicy? Because you were eating without telling me. And the juice, this way straight down my feet. And you now. Promised I you will share me. good and bad with me. <laughs> and you were just sharing the bad with me, having the good for yourself. One fell. So, how many hundreds of pounds we are saving by having our own tree? What do you think? <laughs> and we have around uh, 12 cherry trees. You know that. So, you know that you have to come every day and collect a lot. And this is the stellar cherry which was dying in the first year. I bought it from Astor, but it was dying and I saved it from canker. Oh, yeah, here, yeah. yeah. that's the place that it had canker. It grew. I used the Arbrex. I used the Arbrex, it was on a discount from the BNQ. And we saved it by that. Darling. You know that there is another punnet under that punnet. No, 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 we have no space there. Look, these branches are going everywhere. Oh, here. Oh, everywhere. This one tree we were just harvesting at the moment. And it had that amount. Well, we've had another half of the new, this is the second one. Mm. Let me go the other side. Oh, you got more. Not. Okay, here. I think we need to take it up. Yeah, there is another one under it. Yeah, look, there's more down there. Yeah, there's under, one. under, here. Okay. Put this here until we oh. come back. There's more up there, look. Okay, the I'm going. Should we'll we harvest all at once? Oh. Or should we leave it for every day coming a little oh, bit harvest? Oh, oh, if they're right, I'll take them. The naked on the tree, they'll... Um, they may shrivel the... They'll just die, won't they? Just go right and... You need to eat them and they'll just die. Yeah. God, they're so beautiful. 
I must Look say. That's, still green. that's one of the most beautiful. This one there that Yeah, oh look, here, on top. Yes, I saw that. Okay. Let's see There's more on top. Let's hold it. Here. Yeah. I am going. If I pull the branch down, you can just see it. Ah. Which one? I oh, can look. see Susan, no, I don't need. Side. I can see. Just above my head. Above your head? Oh, here, yeah. there are two. Oh, right, okay. They're more here, and I can easily pick them. Yeah. There is a lot on top of us, so but yeah, that's the reason I was cutting them just to, to control. Things, yeah, fruit collection, yes. fruit yes. collecting things. Oh yeah, I think there is a few just on really high ground, I high branches. Here, yeah. yeah. okay. look. Like oh, don't put the moldy ones. Okay. Let the chickens eat them. Oh, Where is the rest? Just one minute of when you harvested that pound oh, of cherry, you, you earned five pounds now. Five pounds of cherry. Oh, this is a Stella cherry. That's, oh, that was the one which had canker and I oh. cured it, I think. Let me oh, taste one of these. Then we'll go and see the other one from Morello. Mm, Morello cherry, yeah. Yeah, we have to cook them and make sauce. Yes, Susan, look, look, look here, in top. But these are coming in my lunch. Take the ones which are red, don't <laughs> take the other ones because these they come ones. in succession. These ones? No, no. Don't take the ones which are not red completely. Well, this one's red. Yeah, take the ones only which are red. Um, because they will come later and you will have more. Red. Yeah, look forward. There are some, there are some Let me taste one. You are okay. eating a lot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. And we have harvested uh, how many punnets? One and a half punnet. Mm -hmm. That's around at least ten pound value wise. In England, they're very expensive. Okay. Yeah, they have to import it from. <coughs> I mean, there was. Before the war, and a little bit after the war, I mean Second World War, there was a lot of orchards of cherry because it grows very well here. Then they uprooted them for other things and buildings, towns and other things. So now we have to import them from Spain, California, as far as Chile, or, yeah, those areas. California is really far, what, the other side of the earth. So we can grow it here now, you can see. It does take a long time for cherry trees. So... Don't yeah, it's just possible. four years we had to wait. But Last year we gave a few. This year we really gave a good one. It's a long time. Yeah. It's all right doing it yourself. But and yet even f now I'm finding more. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's finished. Yeah, take them. And I've seen some more here. Mm -hmm. Eve, can I pop a cherry? Your cherry. Uh, YouTube will not let pop a cherry, so we have to censor that. I don't know why they are against their wife and husband pop a cherry. Well, we thought popping a cherry was just taking the pit out. So. Yeah, but it's uh, another meaning, I think, I think, I think in, America. in America. Meaning, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, we picked a lot of cherries, we can pop it yeah. later. drink of water okay. in this hot weather and I was looking at the beautiful harvest of cherries that we have yeah. and this is just from one Estella and two three branches of the merchant yeah. and that's that's a good result yeah, that's so we have a, around I think 11 more trees to go we have cherries. and as you can see here we have even, even three more uh, Morello cherry these are sweet cherries of course we go and enjoy them. Yeah, let's go. One egg also. Yes, that's my little friend of me, girl. My little den tree. This one that follows me around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keep it in the cool bag. Yeah. 
this one's going to go there. This is why I prefer the ones with lids. Mm -hmm. So you can stack them very much easier. Yeah, you can stack them. I put them, them like this. Yeah, much. that's better. And then they run, um, yeah. It's dark now, but this is the harvest. This is the Stella cherry. Morella cherry, if you, it was so dark, you couldn't see them. This is uh, two points of the uh, red currant. We picked from one side of the plant, just not all of them even. Just bigger bunches. There is more than that. And for just half an hour, we came here. None of these trees were watered for a long time. Since the last time we had rain, <laughs> one month ago probably. And that's it. Susan, are you happy with this? Um, um, it just took me a few minutes to pay. Yeah, how much do you think that this cost? Oh my goodness. Um... The ponnet of the cherry, two pound. I think for this... This is three pounds of the cherries that you buy in the shop. This is another three, six. So that is uh, already 12 pounds. This is if uh, it be two pounds. That is a very expensive yeah. pound. So this is also, we can say, 10 pounds. 22 pounds of fruit. Probably about 20, 20, 20, about 20 pounds of fruit. Because yeah. this is the best fruit. And it's, yeah, um, it's uh, select and they're you, ripe. You just buy a few little... About 12 little cherries in this. Uh, oh, yeah, 12 little cherries. Yeah, and you just so get true. tiny little packets. They say it is coming from California or <laughs> Spain or somewhere. Yeah, they do. We grow it in Britain. But they're not, they're not so difficult to grow in Britain. No, they definitely can grow. You need yeah. just a little care yeah. in establishing them yeah. on the first years. Then after that, they start to get. And peaches grow, kiwi fruits grow. Yeah. Um, so there's quite a few grapes grow. Um, which is getting popular now. Yeah, beautiful. Let me see where is the moon. Ooh. It's the moon. It's the moon. It's too bright now. This is Cherry Morello in the November, mid November. And as you can see, the leaves are going gradually. Uh, yellow, red, orange, different colors. Almost all the cherries are going through this now. Beautiful autumn display. I must admit I never noticed the change of color in the cherries so much pronounced. They are really amazing at this time of the year. Is it exceptional this year is like that? I think last year by then the, all the leaves were finished. And here we are in the mid-November and we have yet these beautiful leaves. How you feel? Said, uh, how many pounds? One and a half pounds. That's around at this ten pounds.